we live? Yes. Oh, huzzah! High energy start. High energy start, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Hello, everybody! Happy Friday! And happy release day! Yay! Yay! You need like a little. I need a little what? You need like a countdown timer for like. Going for, for going live. Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd still miss it. <laughs> other people wouldn't. Uh, other people wouldn't. Um, how are you, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, we have had a great week here with our pre-orders going live last week, and everybody has gone bonkers for our new release, which is absolutely wonderful. And we've sold out of loads, and we were supposed to have a new release blog hop today. But because we're sold out of so many things, we're actually postponed it. We're going to have a blog hop um, in a week or so whenever everything is back in stock again. Um, and I can't wait for it because there's so many awesome projects that you guys will get to see of the new release. Craig's okay, just sorting out my lights so there may be a little bit of flickering going on here as he sorts it all out. I... Uh, have a bad habit of using my camera for other things during the week and then all the settings get a bit muddled. All right, Craigie. Mm. Hi, Jasmine. And Sarah Louise is here as well. Hello, Sarah Louise. Yells Yells is here too. Happy weekend. I'm also really excited because Ham yay, Hamilton has um, been launched on Disney Plus. I've seen it live in London, but Craig hasn't said for him. Um, and Piper and I have been listening to the soundtrack for forever. So this weekend, Hamilton, we, we thought, oh, we'll do it on whenever it comes out. And I thought, I can't come graph with me. No, don't you dare watch it without me. <laughs> Hi, Marcy. We've got Natalie here as well. Hello, hello. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna actually zoom this out a tiny bit. Hopefully that doesn't affect. Look at my nails, woohoo. Piper says she wants to paint my nails tomorrow and she's gonna write Hamilton on my nails. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> be funny. Nice. <laughs> IBL says, oh my heavens, I totally forgot what today, what, what today is. It took me a minute and thought, what a neat surprise, a surprise dream. Pandemics, uh, lockdowns. At least you know when it's Friday night. At least you know when it's Friday, because I'm here. Yay! I actually did feel very much like that. Um, that the only the only day that had some sort of semblance of normality was Fridays, because um, Craig took Piper on a Friday, uh, or P Piper worked with Craig on a Friday rather than me doing schoolwork with her. So I was able to do more work on a Friday. So that's good. Huzzah. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Hello. Happy Friday. Yells, Yells says, many moons ago, I mentioned I lost my favorite best wishes stamps and I'm happy I found it. It has been over time. Where was it? <laughs> Sarah Louise says, what happens if you don't know what day it is, Leslie? Oh, that happened. That happened between Christmas and New Year. You know, all the time between Christmas and New Year. You just don't have a clue what's happening. And I was lying on the sofa and I think I was just like on Instagram or watching Netflix or something. And then it was like, I don't know, it was like 10 o'clock or 10 to 10 or something. And... I then suddenly had this conscious thought of, is it, is it Thursday? <gasps> it's Friday! <laughs> oh no! That was awful. <laughs> All right, guys. I think, I, I want to play with a new release some more, but I'm not sure what to do. Um, I'm thinking... All my like gulls and shellfish and things have all sold out. So I'm going to avoid that for now, I think. It was stuck under a flower press. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you find it. Yay. So I 
I'm thinking about creating a card with some little doggos, little doggy doggy doos. I think it would be fun. Um, and I have taken out my head in the cloud stencil because um, I actually did something fun at the weekend, not the weekend, during the week. Can you guys see this? You cannot. Let me go closer. No, I'm going to have to turn off my lights a second. Let's see if this works. Can you see it? There we go. So I ran this through, one second range, I'll be with you in a second. I ran this through my um, Gemini Junior with um, the tan embossing mat and the stencil. And then it embossed the clouds onto the background. So I'm going to use this on today's card, I think. So bear with me a second because Ranger wants outside. Where are you, buddy? He has decided that he is not going to stick around for tonight, but that's fine. So that's the head in the cloud stencil, but I love the texture that it gives. So let's see what we got going on. I also did think that we could have a um, another big shadow box situation. So that might happen as well. We'll see, we'll see. I wanted to do like a, an inside looking to the outside kind of thing. But let's work on this card first of all, first of all. All right, so I'm going to add some grass to the bottom. So what has everybody been up to this week? Is what I would like to know. Have you all had a wonderful week? And what are you doing tonight? Are you playing along? Are you crafting with me? Or have you got other, other plans at the moment? Ooh, okay. I think I might actually make, build up a cabin. Build up a dog, a dog uh, house using my build a cabin die. Jasmine says, I'm playing with who let the dogs out tonight. Yay! Working and crafting. Amy's here as well. Hello, Amy. Right, what color shall we reach for? feel like dark blue would be nice. So let's see. Now, where did the child put the heavy metal tape? Oh, by the way, we've also got a big restock of memo tape at the moment. So, because we sold out for a while. Oh, so that's back in stock. Yay! Amy is sorting pens. Ooh, I'm actually um, indulging myself and I'm going to get some more tri blends, I think. I'm going to top up my collection. which will be fun. Let's see. I've got some random bits that I've cut out here from another project, so I just wanted to see what the colors were. But I think they might be a little bit too, they might be too dark. Let's see what else we've got going on here. Maybe give it, I think I wanna go for red. 
and yellow. Stick to my old prime colors here. Amy says, I hope you're all enjoying your heffy doodle goodies. Yay! Yells, yells is indulging in a glass of wine. It's Friday. Woohoo! Sarah Louise says her order arrived this afternoon, so might need to play with the dogs and the grass tinsel. Sounds good, sounds good. It's a must. Let's see, I'll cut a couple of these triangular pieces or V shapes from the, this is the build a cabin die. I'll give that one a go. Probably gonna do at least one more anyway. Let's see where that takes us. Amanda says, for those of you who are crafting, don't forget to enter the Heffy Doodlers Challenge. It's open until Sunday night. Thank you so much, Amanda. Please let us know. I remind everybody the, the topic. Be great. Jasmine says, I think they're great for coloring hair. The tri blends, I think you mean, yeah? Amy says, I need to cut that cabin out. <laughs> Absolutely. I like the way that the cabin can be used for doggos or for beach huts. Okay, so let's stick these layers one on top of the other. And having the three layers just gives it a little bit more dimension. So the theme for the Heffy Doodlers Challenge is summer fun. So that's good because you can interpret that in whatever way you want. You could have something like beachy or summer holiday or it could just be bright colours. Marcy says, I'm making a sympathy card. My co-worker's mom passed it this week. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sympathy cards are the hardest thing in the world to make, I think. A lot of emotion gets in the way of a sympathy card. Dokies. Got my roof on. Just rub away that little bit of excess glue. Amy says, I love that it doubles up like that. It looks good in every color. Absolutely. I think so too. Let's grab some red. For the door arch. Amy says, I'm sorry to hear that Marcy, a handmade card is even more important at a time like that. It really shows how much you care. Absolutely. I think that, that it um, is something that they'll definitely appreciate a lot. Okay. So let's stick this on. And I'm just using a different arched piece here, just as a bit of a guide. So 
need to get a new um, glue pen. My sticks to glue pen is, has, uh, has dried out. I need to grab another one off the shelf. All right, I'm actually going to trim away this inside piece. So it has a flap on it so that you can open it like a door. I'm gonna trim this away. Because I'm gonna see if I can do a interactive card tonight. Woohoo! Everybody love interactive cards. Well, certainly I do. I'm gonna cut out a few of these bonios and stick them on. Hi Sophie, Sophie Farr is here. I'm so glad I'm able to join. I'm never able to catch this live. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here, yay. I know what that's like whenever I, I used to watch um, this lady called Noelle Hyman. I know Crafty, Crafty Susan and I go way back to Noelle Hyman days, but I don't know if anyone else recognize the name. She's not an active crafter anymore, but she did a lot of scrapbooking and things back in the day. And um, she did lives. She was very ahead of, ahead of the game. But I, because of the time difference, I was never able to watch. I always, because it was on at like 2 a.m. in the morning or something like that, like 2 to 5. And if it was 11 or 12 p.m., I might have at some point been able to catch some parts of it but 2 a.m. it was just it was too much I couldn't do it <laughs> so it's uh it's really nice that we have some people joining us that aren't normally able to join us because I know you're there we appreciate you Right, I've stuck three bones together and it's gonna go right here. I'm gonna leave that to dry a minute. And I'm going to give, I'm gonna give this a little doorstep. But what color shall my doorstep be is the question. I might go for another Lello. Little Lello. Marcy says, I've not made an interactive card yet. Once you do, you get hooked. I promise you that. All right. So I'm thinking this is going to go like this. And I'm going to cut out another cabin in black, which I'll layer behind this one. so that we have a dark background. So through the hole, it's black. Shall I do black? Actually, I might do gray. I think a dark gray might work too. Some holy mackerel would be perfect, actually. If I have any here. I do, I find some. Sophie says, I'm so excited to get my order of the new items. That cabin die is just so cute. Yay! Marcy says she does want to give it a go, interactive cards. It looks like so much fun. They are, and there's so many different types, and they always look daunting at the start, but they're actually normally not as daunting as you might think. So this is going to go behind La Casaw. And then this is gonna go on here. And what I think I'd like to do is have a little dog peek his head out of, 
out of the thing. So let's put these bits away. Might use them for, can you see down here? Look, can you see this? My child today. Mommy, can I do some coloring? Yes, dear. Mommy, can I use your Copics? Yes, dear. Just remember to color on something. Yes, mommy. A little while later. Piper, why is there Copic stains on my <laughs> cheeky little girl? All right, so we have our embossed clouds, which you won't be able to see because the lights kind of um, drown it out a bit. But let's add some grass to here. And I'll figure out what I can do for my interactive card. Let's see. So I'm going to go and use the grassy last border dies, I think. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go about here to start off with, and I'm going to try to get another one in at the front. In fact, I'll do it like this. Let me do the front one first of all, because I'm missing a bit of my thing here. There we go. Do this front one first of all, because I want two layers. I'll run this through the Gemini. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my child. I must have been using some embossing powder or something. There's blue embossing powder all down the back of my Gemini. Oh my goodness. Never leave children unattended in the craft room. <laughs> the funny thing is, the reason she was unattended was because I was trying to get some work done. And then, uh, and I am, um, she was inside and I was out here and then she decided to come and, and hang out with me and I had to leave because she was not conducive to a good work environment. Okay. She, she was not making me very productive. Nessa says your hair has grown loads. It has because it was up to like here. It wasn't even on my like neck and my shoulders. It was really short and it has grown so much. It's been very sweaty and horrible. <laughs> but now the weather's a bit cooler. It's a more enjoyable kind of uh, more enjoyable for having your hair down. I'm going to add a little bit of colour to these. And I'm using Grass Skirt by Catherine Puller.
And I'm using a little bit of uh, memo tape to keep my fingers out of the ink. At least that's the plan anyway. I think I'm going to splatter these as well because I'm in a splattery kind of mood. I'm in a splattery kind of mood today. Oh, I must also show you my um, my new splatter box that I created. It's incredibly high tech. <laughs> Let me show you. So this is actually one of the boxes that we um, send stuff in for orders. And I... Um, kept it in here and then I took another box and I cut some sections for the sides and folded it at an appropriate place. Let me zoom out so you can see a little bit hopefully. So now I have a box that I can splatter in. So let me splatter with some grass skirt. And the side pieces, I, uh, they fold down flat and they go in the box. And then they, um, the box just slides on top of some uh, boxes that I have over here. At Creativation last year, I think... There were some companies that actually sold. Amanda, was it you that you got a, some sort of splatter box thing? I feel like it might have been you that got one. Was it you? And if so, have you used it? That's what I want to know. Nessa says, long enough to put up. Yes, my hair is long enough to put up. Um, and it pretty much has been up for most of, most of quarantine. But at the very start, the bits at the back here would fall down. They still fall down a little bit because they're still a bit shorter. <laughs> Amanda Candy says, "How are you not watching Hamilton? Have uh, so you must have missed the the start of uh, tonight's stream, Candy, <laughs> because um, I mentioned the fact that Hamilton was uh, added to Disney, and we are so excited about it. But it's also release day for us, so I was like, I can't miss playing with the new." release on release day um, because today if you haven't already placed a pre-order today is the last day where you can get the free lighthouse stamp so you might want to check that out if you haven't already all right so i'm loving my splatter box because i feel like i can go to town on it without worrying about getting my splatters everywhere that's that's the thoughts anyway. I didn't spend it the way. And if you have placed an order, then you might get one of those boxes, and then you can make your own kind of spider box. Huzzah! So let's zoom in again. Can see this. Oh dear, I managed to get some splatter on this. I don't know how I managed to do that. Anyway, <laughs> Amanda says, Wagner, give me a small, soft sided spray booth. Yes, that's who it was. I remember now. Very cool. Nessa says, Her hair has grown loads too. 
Amanda says, I wish the booth was a the, the the spray booth thing was a little smaller. It's too big to put on the desk. Maybe I should make a tabletop version. Yeah. That's fun. All right. So I feel like we need to add, so, even though it's textured background, I feel like it needs a little bit of color. So I'm going to bring in a bit of blue. And I don't even think I'm going to add any ink to this. We'll see how much is still on it. Oh, apparently not a lot. I'm going to try and avoid some of the clouds a little bit anyway. The blue ink will pick up on the, um, the edges of the clouds because they're raised up so it'll it'll really want to catch on to those hey candy did you see on like facebook memories and things it's pretty much a year since junkie fest it's so sad boo, 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 boo. nessa says do you sell Catherine's ink i do i do and um, we've only got a few left at the moment but I will be putting in an order shortly. So if you have any specific requests, feel free to let me know soon though, because I'll be doing an order next week. Hi, Pamela. Pamela's watching on Facebook. Here we go. So that is the head in the clouds. Pencil and embossed my tan mat and then I use grassy lass for these guys. I feel like I need to turn these down a bit, they're a bit bright. Ooh. Can you guys see that a bit better? Nessa says, do you like them? I love them. I love them a lot. I really, really do. All right. So I want to have my cabin about here. But I'm thinking about doing some sort of interactive element. So... I'm going to actually create a cabin shaped hole right in my back, my panel. I'm not 100% sure where this is going, but I'm not doing anything that I can't fix, so it's fine. Oh my god, the embossing powder is everywhere. And let me grab my scoreboard. So someone has asked, let me just see if I can catch up here. Nessa says, how do they compare with Simon Hurley inks? I don't have any Simon Hurley inks, so I actually can't answer that question. Anyone else watching have both Simon Hurley inks and Catherine Pooler inks and could maybe answer the question for us? Amy says, sounds like Piper had fun earlier. Yeah, I wonder if I can find the card she made. I have to give her a prop, so she did tidy up after herself. Well, she tidied up her desk, not all the... Other bits that's lying around. Well, I can't see it. I don't know where it's gone to. All right. So this is going to go on here like so.
And he says, I have Simonings, but no Catherinings. And I'm going to have to get some Simonings. <laughs> I love how much difference just that little bit of color makes. Yeah, it did make a big difference, doesn't it? All right, so I held that front panel in place. I'll start that down onto, the, onto my folded note card. So this bit's gonna be raised up. And this one is gonna go here, like so. And we'll probably just add some Sellotape to the back of this actually. Something to hold it in place. So, and these are going to go in here. I could actually tuck that in there. So it's above it. So let's do that. Um, and I'm going to just add some tape to this. Pam says, switch to YouTube. You know where the party's at. <laughs> Good idea, Pam. Definitely there's more people over on YouTube. this bit up here and I'm going to cut across this area here or use my scissors or a knife maybe to cut that down because it's not growing inside his it's not growing inside his house silly And the little doorstep will go over here anyway, so I'm not fussying too much over my super blunt craft knife. There we go. Now, where did that little doorstep go? Here it is. It's gonna go here. But I do seem to have a sneaky piece of grass lurking, so let me just trim that away. And there we go. Marcy says, I have both Simon and Catherine inks and I love them both. Ah, there you go. Marcy says, I believe Simon's inks are on a linen pan, but Catherine is on a, it's on like a, a foam ink pad. Yeah, it's foam. Like a hard foam. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. It's going to be here. And let's see if we can come up with some sort of interactive element to go on there. Amy needs to win the lottery so that she can afford all the crafting goodies that she wants. You know that feeling. Okay. So, interactive fiends. What can we have? 
I could have one. I mean, ideally, I think it would be cool to have a dog that comes like out from the side. We could have it coming up. Boop. Like he's coming up. But I think it would be fun to have it out coming out from the side. What do you guys think? Hey, Jen. Ivy Elf says, let's go grab dinner. Catch up on the replay later. See you later. We've also got this guy as well. He's kind of cute. I think that one's a bit big. Kind of like this guy. I feel like we're going to have to just use the him going up. I do like the idea of him coming from the side. I'm not sure if we've got enough room for movement here, but we can try. Let's, let's stamp this guy because I want. It, I think it will be better if we've got a pull tab to the side. Let's see what we can do. Or... Do, 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 do. Actually, we could do a slider. We're experimenting. Experimentation mode. Which is your favorite dog from the Who Let the Dogs Out stamp set? Everyone, a couple of you said that you were going to be playing with it tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and Stamp a couple of accessories as well, I think. Maybe the little cake. The Bull Terrier and Ranger, says Jasmine. Starcraft says the Schnauzer. Whoops, that's not enough ink. A good mix. Let me grab my Misty. I'm just going to do that cake again because I smudged it up at the top. You probably can't even see. But I know it's there. Sophie says Schnauzer. Which one is Ranger? Ranger is the the, floof, the fluffy one. This one. Um, although to be honest, he looks nothing like that anymore because um, yesterday we braved the outside world and he went to the groomers. Yay! So he looks more like this at the moment. <laughs> he looks more like this one. See if I can create a, a a mechanism to pull out from the side so that this little guy goes over to the left so if I'd thought about this 
previously. I, I wish I'd put it further to the left here to give me a little bit more real estate over here. Um, but it is what it is. We'll see what we can do. First, we'll color in this little dude. Who I like to call Bullet. Like from Target, you know? some warm greys for the dark patches. Pam says, I like that you have a bull terrier. You don't normally see them in stamps. <laughs> he was definitely inspired by Target. I think he's very cute. Very cute indeed. I'll give this little guy a speckled cake, which I'm assuming is made out of kibble, oops, and peanut butter, and other doggy delights. And then we'll give him a blue tag and a red collar. <laughs> Leslie and her target, I know, right? Last year I was like, guys, oh, this year, gosh, time flies. It's like, anybody's gonna target, you need to take me to target. <laughs> I know. Obsessed. Had to get my uh, little target fix. Didn't even end up buying all that much. Gonna have a cake with blue frosting because why not? My doggy's going to have a birthday cake. We can create frosting in whatever color we want. Pam says, I miss Target. Have yet to go back since COVID. Yeah, that would be nuts. One of our friends that lives locally, she has a little dog called Hugo. And, um, She's like total dog mum and Hugo has his own Instagram and other fun things and she does lots of training with him and um, I saw a picture on Instagram that it was it was his birthday and she'd gotten him a, a doggy cake. And when we were up in Scotland last year, we went to this cafe in Perth and it was a dog friendly cafe, which was awesome. But I hadn't realized it was dog friendly as in it was like pro dogs. It was like, bring your dog, absolutely. Like that's kind of the point. And it had a whole menu for the dogs and we got Ranger. 
like a little cupcake thing with a bone on top. Must make him something, that would be fun. Probably need to make sure it doesn't have any like milk and stuff in it. But you could use carrots and and um, peanut butter and things like that. So I'm not sure what other accessories we're going to have round about, but we want this little guy to travel from here to here, or maybe he could even be sort of peeking like this, and then he comes out some more. I'm not sure. So I'm going to create a tab here where I can pull something. Now you can create a tab using pretty much anything let's see what we have here okay here is the perfect day and this is a cat bowl and I reckon we can make that work you could just use a half a circle that would work really well too let's see if this is gonna play ball today Amanda says, I'm actually making rabbit treats right now. Oh, amazing. A big bowl full of greens. Oh, they'll love that. Okay. So now I have a notch here and I'm going to need a, um, a thing to pull. So for that, I'm going to use my strips of ease, I think. Or my more strips of ease. More strips of ease. I'm going to use the big, the thicker one, just so I've got a bit more, a bit more oomph there. And I'm going to cut some scratch card using this thicker strips of ease. says I'm currently rehabbing a two to three week old bunny oh that was attacked by a dog doing well so far hoping it makes it so we can oh my gosh the poor little thing okay so this is going to be our tab here I'm actually going to fold it in half and make it twice as sturdy Let's glue that together. I can say I don't have an awful lot of real estate here, but we'll see what we can do. This is going to go here and we're going to pull it out this way. So the idea is this small gap here. I'm going to create a channel kind of like this. Let's see. That's too big. Let me trim that one down. That'll work here. So can you see the gap between here? Here and here. And I'm going to put a piece of card right in the middle that will fit in there with a little gap on either side. And this is a piece of plastic from a stamp set. And I'm going to cut a piece so that it'll wrap around this. Let 
next to. Let me get another piece of card. Can you see better there? I'm not sure if you can. I'll grab some tape. And I'm going to put it along the edge of my plastic. Like so. And wrap this around. My piece of card. Now I don't want it to be super tight. I want it to be a little loose so that it will move like so. So let's trim off that excess piece of plastic. So now this is going to move like so. And this is going to go on one end and I'll pull out like that. My dog was going to go on the other side and pop in. And then this is going to go right here, like so. So let's put my, where it, the, it is glued together at the top here, I'm going to take another piece off. And I'm going to stick that to there. And then I'm going to be folding this over and securing this down like so. So when I pull it out, this bit pulls in. Now to stick this onto my card base, I'm actually going to use a little bit of dimension. So that it will have a bit of room to move. But I also want to lock in that piece of plastic. I think probably it would work best if the plastic was the same thickness as this. But that'll work fine. Let's see. Amanda says, don't tell my husband that he'll be knocking on your door to help. <laughs> oh. Marcy says, that's another thing I do if I win the lottery. Rescue animals and buy all the craft supplies. Oh. Okay, so it's at its in position now. So I'm going to put this down here, line it up with my ring. Da, 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 da. So it comes in and out. Now if there was a bit more room, I would actually put a little band along here to keep that pull tab straight. But as it is, I can't. I don't have any space, so that's fine. But this guy is going to go on here and I'm going to stick him down so that he is not showing here, but I want him to show whenever you pull this out. Ooh, let's see. So I pretty much need to stick out his tail and not much else. So let's do that. Let's put a little sticky doodah on his tail.
I could of course stick them onto um, that other little tiny piece of plastic that I got rid of a second ago and that would give him a little bit more um, like it makes him a bit more sturdy if we have more more of him holding on to things but he'll be fine he'll be fine Pam says he's lucky after two days he started to eat hay Drink KMR. He lost one eye, so he can't be released, but looking into places that might take him. Perks of being a vet tech. Ah, oh, well done. Her little thing. Amanda is like, where are you? She's gonna come home with a, uh, uh, with a cotton eye, Joe. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Sharon Nettle Ship. Hey Sharon, your order shipped it today. Um, is there a tutorial for the new release slider die, please? It's coming. It's coming. Um, if you go to the store, however, and oh, I've just put that on the wrong side of him. What a sausage. Let me cut another one. Let me cut another one. Double him up. What a silly sausage. Wasn't paying attention. Um, if you go over to the Heffy Doodle store, and look at the pictures. There is like picture step by steps. So that will help. If you're struggling, that will help. We will be doing some more bits and pieces as well, but we're gonna wait until they're in stock with us. Let me stick this little guy on. I put the tape on the wrong side. I put it on his, the back of him, but he needs to go on the front. But that's okay because having him being a little bit sturdier is not going to harm him. In fact, it'll probably help him. And in fact, what we could do for being clever. So we could some oh too late, never mind. I was gonna say we could sandwich a bit of tape a bit of um paper in behind him so that we have a bit more room when it comes to sticking him on. But that's okay, back to my tape. I need the tape on his front. Right, let's see how this works out. I'll make sure that this is in the closed position. And then he goes right here. So it looks like this at the moment, or technically this. And then when we pull it out, he's gonna pop out. Ta-da! I love him. Okay, so what we do need to do is create some more depth to this card. I'm going to do another one right here. In fact, instead of using that, I'll use the three mil tape and that will help stick it up, I think. Awesome.
Jen says, for the life of me, I do not understand how that mechanism works, even though I watched you put it together. I will tell you in a second. I will walk you through it. And until such a time, we shall call it magic. <laughs> So this tape is uh, three millimeters deep, so it has a bit more oomph to it. Love my three millimeter deep tape. And I wanna make sure that my thing is going to stay, okay. So when we pull it out to the right, he goes into the left, like so. So how does it work? How does it work? Let me show you one more time. And all you need to do is just simply like break it down. Don't over don't overthink things because that's when things go. <laughs> that's whenever you end up getting confused. So if I use this as an example, here's my piece of plastic. And I'll use this as my pretend piece of card in the middle. And if this piece of plastic wraps around and is attached in a loop, oops, like so, then this top section slides to the right but it's a loop, so the bottom section has to keep going round. So that bottom section slides to the left. So all we do, all we're doing is creating a loop like this. And I've just got a piece of card in the middle. Um, and the plastic needs to be um, kind of sturdy enough that it's going to move, but not to like, I like the packaging, it really works, or like a strongish sandwich bag would work too. Um, so as this one slides to the right, the underneath slides to the left because it's going in a loop like this. And all we do is we attach something to here and we attach something to here. And when you're pulling, when you pull one, the other one goes the opposite direction. Ba, 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 ba. Just like that. So it's, it's an easier concept than you might think, but I have to say, when you watch it happening, it looks like voodoo magic, <laughs> doesn't it? So that's that anyway. We're obviously gonna to need to trim this guy down and we're going to add this back onto here whenever it's in its closed position. And that will make it look nice and finished. Who did I see pop up? Hey, Jessica. Hey, Ian. Happy 4th of July, mes American amis. Mes amis Americains, I should say. Oh, did I tell you that Piper is learning French? So that's exciting. She's been doing really well, actually. She's been doing a fantastic job. I'm going to use my Misty to help align this and make sure that's in the closed position and stick my little pull tab that you and I secretly know is actually just a cat dish. Oh, you know what I should have done before I did that? was stamp on it with the interactive year stamp set. We'll just have to do it afterwards and hope that it works. Mm 
All right. We've got slide me, pull me, push me, spin me, press me. So it could, we could do slide me if we wanted that, slide me. I always do pull, pull here. So slide me would be quite cool. Ian says, I need to get that interactive step set. It looks like it comes in really handy. It does come in really handy. Absolutely. It is still one of those ones that sell out time and time again. I like that it is um, like small enough that it's not going to interfere with the design on your of your card. That's what I really like about it. We've got a piece of felt thread stuck on it. I will say, and here's me proving the point, is that because it's so small, I recommend that you practice a couple of times, or you didn't say practice a couple of times, first of all, so that you get used to the right amount of pressure that you need to use. Every time I use this, this uh, stamp set, I always practice at least four or five times um, before I'm like, okay, I'm confident. I know the level of pressure that I need to add for this stamp set, because you literally have to go like, and that's it, like just a little kiss. Kiss it. Amanda says, I love that set. It even has to and from if you make holiday gift tags. It does indeed. So let me pull this to here. Nice. So it sits in like this and then you Pull it out and a little woggy doggy goes back in. This is moving a little bit because there wasn't enough room to put a belly band on it. But such is life. Sometimes you just need to go without a belly band. <laughs> All right, let's put our other piece of grass at the bottom here. We've now uh, used foam tape on the the bulk of the card so I don't want to add any more with this one <laughs> is that like Spanx I guess so actually a belly band is something that um, in card making, I'm using it to refer to the bit where you have a pull mechanism. You can put a piece of card around it that makes it secure so that it doesn't move up and down. It only goes in and out. Um, but when I was pregnant, they had a thing called a belly band where um, essentially it was just like a tube or well, actually mine was Velcro, I think. Um, and it was just a piece of um fabric that you put here because whenever you started to get a belly all your t-shirts would like create a gap at the bottom so the belly band just covered the belly so you could wear it underneath your top <laughs> uh snow says story of my life only stretchy pants i love stretchy pants. i've actually not um worn jeans since like covid started <laughs> i don't think i'm ever gonna go back to be honest I think I'm fine with uh, yoga pants for the rest of my life. I think I'm good with that. All right, I think I'm gonna add some paw prints. Should I add some? No, maybe not paw prints. Okay, we need something to bring this all together, guys. What are we gonna add? Maybe a sunshine up top. We do have this. Maybe we need another little dog friend for him to play with or something. Let me grab a sun, got the sun dye from the sun, moon and stars set. But 
thought about it, I could have die cut the inlaid one. That would have been really cool. And had it peeking through. Maybe we'll just do this. Or we go for a sentiment up top. Oh, actually, we could maybe do like um, a curved banner die situation. Let's see. Kind of goes perfectly there, actually. Let's grab the roundabout sentiments. It's your day. Oh, hold on. Ian says same, no jeans since COVID started. Yay! <laughs> T-shirts and shorts all day long, says Ian. Amanda says, I put on a pair of jeans once a week just to make sure they still fit. Well, I know mine won't fit, so I don't need to check. <laughs> a dog carrying the cake in his mouth. <laughs> you love this card, Liz, really pretty. Thanks, now. Or what if we did, I hope you have a, and then did yappy birthday. That would be cute. You have a and then yappy birthday, maybe. Or it's your day. Not sure yet. Let's cut out a little curve anyway. Because I think that's the direction we're going to go in. And I think I'll go for... I was going to say red. Should we go red and then emboss on it? We'll tie in with the... The door frame on our doggy kennel. Perfect. And we'll need to emboss on that. It's your day, yappy birthday inside. Good plan, Batman. So I'm just lining this up here. I'm going to trim that down so that it fits nice and snug. And then this way I can show you how I like to use the Misty to stamp the roundabout sentiments. So I do it like this. die cut it like so and then I can use the memo tape on the back so it's sticky And stick that back in place and you can either put a piece of tape over the ends or a magnet and then we're gonna do it's your day isn't it is that what we said it's your day that is Marcy says, I've been working from home, but when I had to go into work one day after working from home for a month or so in the beginning of my SIP, my work jeans were a little snug. <laughs> or, oh. All right, so now I can lay this in here. Click 
close over. And because I put the tape on here, it's not going to lift it up. At least that's the plan anyway. Let me go grab my white embossing powder. Craig managed to break one of the lights in my office, my, my room, about two minutes before uh, we went live, so that's fun. And by say, when I say it, he managed to break it. He turned off the lights and then he turned on the lights and only one came on. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's ink up my stamp using my Wow embossing pad. I'm going to go for a twofer. <laughs> Lights out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put you guys on mute for a second while I emboss this. I'll be right back. I was just, about, uh, oh, hold on. Yeah, I was just about to say, did you see my t-shirts? Can you figure out what it says? <laughs> I ordered some uh, craft themed t-shirts online. This one's a little dog playing with crafty things. playing with crafty things and it says nailed it <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool all right let's get rid of some of that excess powder Oopsies. And then I'm going to use my tweezers and line up my tweezers with the uh, embossing fold and then fold that back and fold it forward. Awesome. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Let's stick this up. And I always add um, my sticky tape to the curved bit, but not to the tails, not to the end pieces, because they'll go flat. So 
Snow says, I finished a roll of peffy tape yesterday. So satisfying. So satisfying, but then you're also like, oh, oh, oh my tape. The last roll I finished, I actually had none left in stock and that was, uh, that was panic. <laughs> I should probably keep like a little stash of four or five on hand. <laughs> It's your day, yay. All right, so I do think we need a couple more elements around about. So we could go for um, uh, another little guy, maybe put a party hat on him. Should we put two, should we put these two guys on it? Let's do it, let's just do it. Jasmine has to go. Ben has worked tomorrow. It's time for bed, but it means I'll get peaceful craft time. <laughs> Enjoy your crafting tomorrow, Jasmine. Let's see if we can make these cute little puppies wear their party hat. So, Ian, I have a question for you if you're still there. Um, on your birthday videos, I think I saw um, cat stuff in the background. Do you have a cat? I want to know. All right, so we've got Mr. Schnauzer. Mr. Schnauzer that we turned into a... Yorkshire Terrier last week, didn't we? Uh, I'm gonna do another. Another doggy. Party hat. We've got two doggos. All right. Let's color these guys in. Ranger has a French bulldog by the name of Bruce. And he's like an apricot color. Little Brucey. So this will be our Brucey. is the perfect one for Bruce. Yeah, you find it. Mm. 
I forgot about his little foot underneath here. To go a little bit darker on that one. And he's kind of got pinky jowls, so we'll, we'll go for that a bit more pinky up front. Oh, it's so cute. And I'll we'll go for a gray pooper. He's so cute. And my little schnauzy, schnauzy, wowzy. There is a dog near us, lives near us. And he's actually black and white. And his name is William. I think there's like a massive trend at the moment calling your dog by human names and it occurred to me the first couple of times I was like that's kind of funny and kind of weird um, and it occurred to me that for girls names it doesn't seem weird at all like to have a Bella or Rosie or something like that to me and um, that doesn't seem weird but William seems weird for a dog's name in my mind. It's not really, but, uh, and then Bruce, there's a Bruce, there's a Fred, and there's a Frank. Frank actually is a Basset Hound, and he's just a puppy, but he's huge, and his feet are like, like my hands. It's super cute though. He just plods along. Do you guys know of any other animals? Or do you have any animals which have got um, human names? Amy says, those little doggies are just so cute. Thank you, dear. Give him a little rosy cheek. Beautiful. I'm just gonna have a green collar if I can. Most of my greens are dead. Still, I need to uh, replenish them all. I'll go for a brown schnauzer for him, or a little booper for him. Awesome. And I've got a bone here and party hat. So I think we'll go for a yellow party hat here. And I'll bring in some of that red as well. I'm not sure if my hat's going to fit on this guy. We'll see. We'll see. We'll give it a go. And I think we will bring in some of that teal kind of color again. On the cake. And maybe yellow as well. And some red for the bow. <laughs> Jessica says we've got a Maisie and a Derry. Yeah, but even your Maisie, it's not spelt Maisie like a girl. But but that's cute. Like I don't think that's weird. I don't think that's weird at all. I I kind of want to add this because it's here. Let me 
Let me colour it in and see what happens. But William? <laughs> Maybe I'm just being ridiculous. <laughs> Snow's off to rest her hands and let... Oh yeah, so how did the braces go, Snow? I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. William is a strong name for a pet. I'm not sure whether you mean strong as in that's a really good name or whether you mean strong as in a strong name for a pet. I hope that doesn't turn out to be my thumbnail. <laughs> Which is normally what happens to me in these kind of things. That's a strong name for a pet. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's cut out these poochies see if we can finish off this wonderful doggy party scene braces are a big relief but typing is even harder that's what i thought that's why i was like oh you're gonna hit them <laughs> For the best. Needs must. Little snow there. Okay, guys, we need names for all of these dogs. Do you guys know that the the bear that we have um in Unbearable Without You is called Randy? Mm-hmm. Randy Bear. And the he's named after a guy who works for Crafter's Companion. And the, uh, oh gosh, I'm not gonna remember. Franklin, uh, I think it's Franklin, is the crocodile that is running. I think it's Franklin that one is. That was named by a customer. And the little scruffy one in this set has to be Ranger. Because he's a scruffy pupper. But I don't know. And this one has to be Bullet, I've decided. <laughs> um, but I need names for the other ones. And no Williams! <laughs> None of this nonsense, William. Uh, one of Piper's school friends had a little chihuahua called Bentley. So we could have Bentley. This guy could be Bentley. However, Be Bentley passed away last year. So it might be uh, too hard to talk about at the moment for Bentley's family. Oh, it's such a relief already. Oh, good. Yay. Oh, all right. Jessica says it's like a little intense, but it must be a trend. <laughs> See you later. Hugs to you. Bronwyn says our dog is called Kaiser. I love that. And our daughter started school and met a boy in her class who has a brother called Kaiser. And we couldn't believe someone would call their child the dog's name. That's funny because my daughter is called Piper and we have never met another Piper um, human. But we have met Pipers which are dogs. So I'm sure they probably think the same thing about us. <laughs> it was funny because um, this guy was walking along the beach near the near the water and he had this big dog de Bordeaux and we were sitting on the picnic blanket and I said oh look at that big dog de Bordeaux, it's beautiful um, and Piper was like mummy can I go and say hello I said yeah sure and the dog had this um, 
like a waterproof thing on that was like a teal color. And Piper had a swimsuit on, which was a teal, um, I got, well, a waterproof onesie thing. You know, the, the skin tight, what do they call it? Um, a rash vest thing that was um, a, a turquoise teal color as well. Anyway, Piper was walking along and was trying to get closer to the dog. And then the man turned around and went, I'm going to Piper. And Piper looked up and went, how do you know my name? <laughs> And he's like, I don't know your name. What is your name? And she went, Piper. He went, oh no, that's the name of my dog. So then they had a good old laugh because both Pipers had the same outfit on to the beach. And <laughs> it was funny. Let me find my little pinwheel die from a little shellfish. Uh, Amanda says, my dad had a dog named Mooney. Apparently he likes the name because after Mooney, he got Mooney 2 and now Mooney 3. Uh, we did that when I was growing up with budgie regards. My dad used to breed budgies and we always had a budgie, but it was always Joey. And I think what probably happened was, um, you know, the age old situation where Joey died, but my dad bred them. So he would just bring in another blue budgie record and be like, yep, that's Joey. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't know how many Joeys there were. I don't even think mum and that know because I'm pretty sure there was situations where I was like, Joey used to be able to say his name and now he doesn't. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> My friend had a dog called Festus <gasps> and he thought it was like the most hilarious thing in the world. I mean, it is pretty hilarious, Festus. I don't know why you would even consider calling your dog Festus. <laughs> He's pretty funny, I suppose, if you think about it. But, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Festus. Right, uh huh. And did I tell you about my friend? Um, it was a, a school friend. Oh, I want more of these now. They're so cute. Um, not a school friend. It was a family friend had a hamster called Asket. So people would say, what's the name of your hamster? And they would reply, ask it. And they go, what's your name, little hamster? What's your name? <laughs> Which I think is really funny. <laughs> Every time I think about that, it gets me, gives me the giggles. Ashley says, I have two budgies. I'd actually really like a budgie again. My sister found a budgie. They went out for a walk and there was this budgie just um, like chilling at the, on, a, on her wall, like on the outside wall. And um, she put a poster and everything because it was so tame and nobody claimed it. So she now has a budgie. <laughs> its name is Skye. It's, it's noisy, but it's really sweet. I think I quite like a, a, a budgie again, actually. But yeah, they're noisy, I remember. Let's get this little guy on here. Doop -de -doop -de -doo. Hi, Becky, or Carl. Always incognito, whichever one you are. Whichever you are. Let's put this party hat on this little Frenchy, little Brucey, Bruce, that's a boy's name. Hmm. <laughs> Becky says, did you start late? No, I did not. I'm just really slow tonight. There we go. 
I'm loving it. Oh, it's Carl today. Hello. Carl, I discovered where my uh, package is. I got a nasty invoice in the post for customs. Oh, so I need to figure that out. I just don't have time today. Um, Jessica says from Seinfeld, is that Festus or Festivus for the rest of us? Festivus? I don't, I don't think I, um, I don't remember that episode of Seinfeld. Or, oh, I forgot my thing. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I'm loving the way this turned out. It's like they're all gone. Come on, little guy. He's kind of a bit wonky. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Come and blow your candles, bullet. <laughs> How much? Lots. Um, I don't know whether I brought my brought it out here. I I can't remember. I'll have a look tomorrow. I certainly looked at my. Oh. <laughs> Yay! I am in love with this card. I do want more texture on the top though. I think I'm going to add some sequins or something for more puzzles. Oh, here's some little dots that are lurking. I wonder if I could add them. Let me see. I got some Piper, Piper made a couple of, or used some of the Nouveau dots. Put them on my mat down here so that I could use, they could dry and I could use them. But I'm not in love with the colors. I think the colors are a little bit off. So let me see. Pam says, you really make the, made the interactive part look easy peasy. Well, you have to tell yourself that it is easy peasy because once you like, convincing yourself that it is easy peasy then that's like half the battle is, is over then because it is easy peasy i promise it's easy peasy lemon squeezy what should we go for should we add some pink pink brush Marcy says, my dog's name are Henry and Jessie. There you go. She loves people names for pets. Henry is a popular one. I mean, there's been quite a few Henrys that I've seen. And I've met Earl, but I let that one slide because Earl was a Merle. <laughs> so I, I thought that that was actually uh, <laughs> that one. I totally got that one. But I'm also not a person that um, names pets, cuddles and things like that. That was actually one of the stipulations for Piper that I, um, she could help name the animals, but everybody has to agree on them. And it's not gonna be cuddles or fluffy or anything like that. Oh, that feels a little off color. Hello. Oh, Ranger's back. Hey, buddy. Let me get your chair. Good boy. Henry is a little Pomeranian mix. Ah, oh, yes, yes, hi, Austin. Loads of you guys have um, people names for your dogs. Carl, what's the name of your do your two dogs? Two dogs, three dogs, whatever there are. Multiple doggos. I know you've got multiple. I feel like it's two. Oh, 
I like random names. But then that is um, obvious because I call my chat Piper. <laughs> Sophie and Murphy. Ah, yeah, definitely got some uh, human names on the go there too. Hopefully I added some of these cute little love hearts. That's adorable. I'm probably going to just finish off this card, guys, and then call it a night because it's really warm in my room. But don't forget that it is the last day to get a free Little Lighthouse stamp set if you order something from the new release. Today is the last day of that shenanigans. What you doing, buddy? He's decided it's too warm in here as well. You just come back in. Are you leaving me already? Are you just leaving me already? Okay, one sec, please. Too hot, huh? I'd leave the door open, but moths get in and I'm not a fan. So those little um, little diamondy things are from Pretty Pink Posh, and then the little uh, hearts are from Trinity. I was looking to see if I had any of the diamondies in red, but I only have pink, and that's not quite the right colour that I'm going for. But that will have to do. The superstar who is no longer with us is Bibi. When she was little, she looked like a little fuzzy bear cub. So I named her Bear Butt Bibi for short. Oh, that is so cute. Looks the best. All right. So here's my card. It should a eh? pull to the side. Do, 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 do. You can kind of see his nose a little bit in there when he's tucked in. Well, that's fine. Gives you a hint of what's coming. So we use the Build a Cabin die. We use the Head in the Cloud stencil. You probably can't see that overly well. There, you see it? I turn this down. I turn these down, you can see a bit better. Oops, no, wrong way. Can you see the texture here? There we go. See the texture. And who let the dogs out and grassy lass and then a little sneaky thing, a uh, pinwheel from the a little shellfish. <laughs> the little heart shaped nose on the bull terrier. Yay, so cute. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to shoot off and have a big glass of water before I do anything else. Um, have a wonderful weekend. If you haven't already done your pre-order, get it in, get your little, little lighthouse uh, stamp. And um, if you haven't also subscribed to our newsletter, you might want to consider that because we are out of stock of some items at the moment, but we will be getting some back in stock very, very soon. And we do send out promotions and, and let you know about hops and everything like that on our newsletter. So I've been trying really hard to be better at sending newsletters. <laughs> Marcy says, I love the 3D clouds. Yay! It, it, you can't really see it whenever you're looking like this, but in real life it looks really, really cool. 
Uh, Carl says, are you coming to the USA anytime this year? We are looking at scheduling events soon. Oh, cool. Um, I don't really know. Um, everything is on pause at the moment with COVID. I'd really love to. I'm really m missing everybody. And there's definitely some movement in regards to events and things, certainly over here. But I still think that we're going to get a rise in um, COVID issues. So I am not making any plans until I can. I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> to quote Sir Aaron Burr. <laughs> okay, cool. Carl says, Creativation next year is a go for us. I did see there was an email sent out about an updated cancellation policy. So we'll have a look. The main problem for me is the flights. If that, I mean, the flights is such a big cost that... Um, well, and the booth, I guess, but the co the flights are a, such a big cost that if something, if I'm not able to go, then that's a big hit. But I would like to go, it's true. So we'll see. I'll probably make a decision in the next month or so. Okay, guys, I'm going to head off. I shall see you guys next time. And why not take part in our Heavy Doodlers Challenge? Summer fun over in our Facebook group and go and shop at heavydoodle.com. Bye, everybody. I love you all.